Okay, all right, Nisha. Thanks very much for that. So that's on Poonawala Finance Corp, FinCorp rather. Just to put it into perspective, the disbursements for the housing finance subsidy in the previous quarter was up quite significantly. It was up around 57% on a year-on-year -year basis and 14% on a Q1Q basis to over 600 odd crores. So just keep that in mind in terms of a couple of statistics. But nonetheless, let's focus on a couple of stocks within the pharmaceutical space. The day is not complete without talking about that. Uh, I'll start with Aurobindo, which is in focus. That is because we did manage to access the Form 43, which was issued to their Unit 9. Remember, their Unit 9 was inspected from the 10th of November to the 18th of November and it was issued 10 observations. It's basically a unit which is an intermediate API manufacturer. Now this particular plant had already received an official action indicated status in May of 2019 which already makes it more vulnerable in terms of a position. It was then reinspected in November 2022 and those 10 observations that we've accessed uh, though, uh, though experts say that it is not related to data integrity, which is the most serious form of observations, it would probably take some time for them to resolve and see the end of the road for it. So that's on Aurobindo. There was additional piece of news. They've entered into a license agreement with Aviv Biotech for a particular chemotherapy drug. This particular uh, drug, in fact, is under a late stage review by the US FDA. So Aurobindo, if in case this drug does hit the market, has tied up a marketing agreement with Evive. So that's basically the piece of news on Aurobindo. And lastly, just keep your eye out on Lupin because City has written on Lupin. They have a buy. They've raised the target price to 840 rupees. Spiriva Generic, which is basically an inhaler, is what they've spoken about. If it is approved, Lupin is expected to enjoy exclusivity five, in a market which is worth 500 to $700 million for the next couple of years. The product, in fact, has the potential to repair margins, according to them. And if it is delayed, they believe uh, that the downside is limited because there's a strong flu season in the U.S., and the impact of Suprep, which is basically a bowel drug, can help in terms of margins in Q3. So they're optimistic with or without Spiriva generic. All right, we take that point. Take that. Thanks a lot for that. So that's our daily dose of pharmaceutical uh -huh. stocks. We know. Just keep an eye out on NBCC at the bottom of your screen.